Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at our project Supra and mainly the high IATs we've been seeing, especially during tuning development. Now we think the reason for this is because of the frontal design of the Supra. This car obviously has a B58 engine that's very similar to the M140i. The difference with the front end of those cars is that the M140i has the BMW kidney grills at the front and also has a space at the bottom of the bumper to allow air to get into the heat exchanger which then cools the water to the charge cooler. On the Supra you can see the space is very very limited and we think that's part of the reason why the IATs are so high. So to try and address that CSF has sent us their prototype heat exchanger over there. It is a prototype so we expect the finished product to be better quality in terms of the welds and the finish but for now they've sent it to us so we can test it. So we have data logged the car as it is with the stock heat exchanger the car is running our stage two map, so it's around 460 horsepower. We'll get a hash to fit the CSF heat exchanger, and then we'll run the data logs again and show you guys the difference. Now that hash is halfway through the job, we can take a closer look at the CSF heat exchanger compared to the stock one. Now the stock one is 25 mil thick and it has one row and the CSF is 42 millimeters thick and it has two robes and it uses their patented B-tube technology. So you can see the CSF one is significantly thicker than the stock one, around 17 mil. The CSF one is all metal construction and they've got CNC machine plugs here. It's all plug and play, but the CSF, because of the size, it does require some trimming of the stock items. So we're going to put the CSF one back into the car and I'll take the car out for data logs and see what the difference is. With the CSF heat exchanger now fitted to the car, we did another set of road logs and that was a third, fourth and fifth gear pull. Even though the ambient was slightly higher when we tested the CSF, at the beginning of the third gear pull, the IAT is 1.5 degrees lower. By the end of the fifth gear, that is reduced to 4.5 degrees. So the CSF heat exchanger is working pretty well. And the more you put it under load, the more efficiently it's working. 
When we bought this car, it was one of the things we raised pretty early on during our tuning and data logging sessions that the IATs on this car were pretty high and we were waiting for CSF to come along and make a product that actually worked on the Supra. So from our testing, it shows that it works really, really well. The product's gonna be released in July. If you guys have got any questions about it, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you'd like to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you'd like to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.